speaking of great shows, you know, we talk about it all the time on this show, the Harvester Performance Center in Rocky Mount, there in, you know, really a tiny, tiny little town yes. is bringing in major, major acts. Huge ones, yeah, it, and it really is an, an awesome opportunity for you to see shows that a lot of people travel like hours to see. Yeah. And recently the venue hosted a guy that you might find familiar. His name is Tate Face. He's an artist that uses simple, clever, charming humor to delight audiences <laughs> young and old. And well, Natalie and I couldn't resist going to see him. And well, let's just say we too were lost for words. Take a look. You may have seen him on America's Got Talent. We are talking about Tate Face. I love he him. He combines mime, stand up, without saying a word. And he's hilarious. He is so funny. And we have the opportunity to interview him, but we're gonna take it a step further. We're actually gonna pitch him our ideas. But first, I mean, we gotta get ready. Absolutely. Let's go. So, Brittany. Yeah. How dark are you going with the eyeliner? Oh, I'm going dark. You're going dark? I'm doing it. All right, here we go. All right, how do we look? We look like we don't know how to put makeup on. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get dressed though. All right, let's go. Yeah, no. Have you guys ever thought of not? Oh, that's better. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. Mm -hmm. I got sticky stuff on my face? Yeah, yeah. Oh, tape face. So tell us about your act and, and how you got started. I think um, if you want, I can, I can help out and answer a few questions for him. Probably a lot easier. Okay, yeah. and your name is? I'm Sam, I'm a friend of his. Okay, okay. Um, so I guess tell us about the show. Uh, the show Tape Face, is, it's essentially a, it's a comedy show. Uh, it still uses all the same format of uh, stand-up comedy. Uh, so it's an interactive comedy show using people and everyday items in different ways and a lot of 80s and 90s music as well. What, uh, what inspires you? How did you get started? Uh, I started out uh, at the age of 12. I was given a magic set like every kid. You get a magic set. Uh, I started learning magic tricks and I discovered in my small town of New Zealand, I'm from New Zealand, uh, there was a, a clown. So I, I stalked this clown and I, eventually he took me on as an apprentice. I also oh. then from that part I moved into stand-up comedy and uh, I, I was lucky enough to win a comedy award in New Zealand that made everyone just expect me to keep talking and uh, do more tricks. So, so I decided to challenge myself and prove a point that I could do a show without talking. That, that was my next question. Yeah. Like, that how did Tape Face come about? come about? Well, the original version of the character didn't have tape on his face. It was just myself at a comedy club with a little five-minute idea. And I went on stage and I ruined it within the first 30 seconds by talking to the front row because I had no idea what, what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I went back the next night and there was another comedian backstage who said the only way you can do a silent act is if you gaffer tape your mouth shut. 
And so we put the tape on and ironically the idea stuff. All right, America's Got Talent. Yes. So you're from New Zealand. Yes. And you wanted to come to the United States and make it? I mean, was that like your thing? Like, all right, if I can get to the United States and make it then. Kind of. Okay. I was. Um, I went from New Zealand to London. So I was living in London for the last okay. 10 years. I've been doing, this character's been around for 13 years now. So I've been performing since 2005 with this act. Uh, in the UK, I'd been touring and doing shows. I started out over there in like the rock bottom comedy clubs and I worked my way up through the scene. So now back in the UK, and I, I headline festivals and I do my own, very much my own following. So I wanted to start doing that in America. And uh, this country is huge. It's a really big country and the comedy scene over here is massive. Yeah. So I, I sort of strategically looked at it and just went, for me to rise through the comedy ranks with this act, it was gonna take me about 10 years to do it. And I didn't have that time. So America's Got Talent was like the ultimate kind of exposure. <laughs> Yeah. So it's like, I'll go on that show, be seen by everyone, then just sort of jump up a lot faster, and then we get straight into the touring, which is, uh, yeah, we saved a few years. It's it was so, so amazing. Nice. And, and a you, Las Vegas residency. I, I know, that's incredible. And yeah. you got to see the show. It was so funny. Highly recommend if you have the chance. Please see him. Yeah. And for a complete list of all the great shows coming to the Harvester, visit their website, harvester-music.com. So 